So why are outposts so underwhelming? Well, in my opinion, there's a lot of reasons for it. So I'm gonna break this apart into two categories. One, if you wanna make an outpost for basically a home away from home, and of course, you wanna have an outpost for actual productivity, gathering your materials, converting those materials with your fabricators into finished products, things like that. But the first part here, let's talk about if you wanna have an outpost just for a habitation purpose, that home away from home thing I was talking about. Why can't we have like houses, house type structures? I mean, if you take a look at these right here on Par Par Paradisa, right? You know, this is what I'm talking about. You know, why can't we have something granted? You know, we have to furnish it on the inside. But nowhere in our outpost building do we have actual shower setups or ways that we can build interior walls to actually make it appear like, you know, a decent habitation type of thing for that immersion. <clears throat> you know, on the toilets. The toilets that we can put down, well, yeah, you're lucky if you can get them to go flat against the wall. I mean, I know, I know it's not substantial, but I would really like to see something done that allows us, especially on planets that have breathable atmosphere where we don't need to have an airlock. Yeah, you know, I've heard there's workarounds for that, but... You know, I think this should have been in the game already. I have 13 outposts, and I've stopped working with outposts because I have such a high production amount coming in of materials that I honestly, unless I go and micromanage every single outpost and manually carry those materials, clean them out of all the, uh, the storage containers, the transfer containers, I mean, honestly, and it kind of irritated me a little bit. I mean, I had to use console commands to increase my uh, carry weight just so I could do it to manage these outposts. Because if you're not doing that, at least in my experience, my personal experience, <clears throat> everything backs up, especially with your cargo links. You know, you're outgoing to incoming boxes, both fill up, and then you get to a point to where things can bug out. You have to delete your uh, output links, redo your output links, or totally de delete the pads and put everything back down. You know, it's a real pain in the butt. But yeah, I would really love to see some neat stuff done with the habitation aspects. As far as if you want like a home away from home, but now I'm going to pop over to my main uh, production hub that I have for an outpost and talk about some other ideas I have concerning the nature of that aspect of outpost. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and discuss the productivity side of your outpost. Yeah, you know, where you are gathering your various materials, <clears throat> your resources. You might be combining resources from other systems or from other planets in that same system. You're bringing all those resources to a particular place that you might need to where you can combine resources into the various fabricators, make finished products, have those go into warehouses. But guess what? Eventually, you end up with so many surplus materials that everything is filled up solid green like everything here is at this outpost. And then I have to manually come here to the transfer container, whether I stand on it. And I choose to do it this way because it's a lot faster than going to your uh, console inside your ship for your inventory and doing this. Now, the transfer container is not going to show you everything, but if you sit here and you take it all, 
So let's take this, let's take that. There's more copper. Then you got a branch, you, you got to move away from it, come back down. Okay, suddenly we got adaptive frame, we got more copper. See, it's quicker to do it right here in person. So it kind of defeats the luxury of doing it from your ship. Because if you do it from your ship, you have to back away from the, uh, the actual interface for the ship's inventory, come back, and you got to get back into it. Here, you can just go up and go down. Everything will eventually come up. But this is what outposts are lacking. Well, I should say what they really need, in my opinion. For the productivity side of your outpost, it would be really cool if we could have some type of a mission board set up specific for an outpost to where we can set up contracts with the various star stations to have materials or finished products delivered to those star stations. And not by us having to manually fly there and do it like we have to right now. Of course, we'd have the option to do that still, but be a way to generate passive income and help eliminate this backlog bottleneck of everything filling up with eventually nothing to really do with it except sit here and do this all day long. Manually take everything out and go sell it and, and do whatever you have to do with it. You know, it, it's really a pain in the butt. Plus, if we had an automated type of a uh, system like that, say with star stations or even uh, different settlements, it would give us more incentive to really utilize the outpost to generate, say, more finished products, place more fabricators, like really get more involved into it. Now, my second idea is take better advantage of the crew members that you can go hire. Let's say we can uh, find crew members that have a specific skill that, let's say, it's commerce-based. Why can't we have some type of a, you know, just like a cargo link, but have some kind of a trading cargo link? Maybe have two different ones, you know, just like we have the uh, the regular cargo link and then we have the uh, inter-system cargo link. We'll maybe have inter-system trading links. And then, of course, regular in-system trading links. But you have to have a specific crew member with specific skill set to actually manage that basically like a trading post to where you can sell various items created at that outpost. Another way to generate passive income, another way to help clear out the over log of everything being constantly filled up. Because right now, in my opinion, you know, when I have 13 outposts, it's just become a real pain in the butt. I really do enjoy the outpost system, but there needs to be a lot more put into it. I mean, so in my opinion, this is what outposts need. You have the residential aspect if you want a home away from home. We need more specific home-related items for that immersion. Starting with, let's get rid of the air hatches on habitable planets and give us better house ideas. Even if we have to go and maybe get certain diagrams for a house and use our outpost to get those materials to complete that diagram or that blueprint, that would be so cool. Then, of course, the productivity side of the outpost, as I mentioned, you know, let's do something with actually utilizing the outpost uh, crew people that we have to hire. Maybe, uh, you know, throw in a commerce skill. Let's give us some kind of actual trading cargo links that are passive. I'm not saying massive scale. And maybe we have to actually manually go and set up these contracts with various settlements or something this way or that way through that uh, trading link. But... That, in my opinion, is something that would really help change the whole scope of the entire outpost system. Just those three things right now. And there's a lot of other things that have been thrown around out there. And I, I agree with all of them. But what they can incorporate, you know, I think everything that I mentioned here could
could have already have been in the game. And to me, it really seems that outposts are just underwhelming right now. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Other things you'd like to see added to Outpost. You know, both the elements as far as just your home away from home outpost and, of course, the productivity side of an outpost. So I'll end it here on that note, guys. You keep safe out there. Peace, and I'll see you on the next Starfield video.